there is a common perception Pep Guardiola's tenure at Manchester City will be defined by whether he wins the Champions League or not. It will not. It has already been defined by the new rarefied standards he and his team have set at the top end of the Premier League. When he leaves his post, City's record in what is essentially a 16-team knockout competition that begins in February should have little bearing on his legacy. In a two-legged tie against another member of Europe's elite, or Spurs, nothing is guaranteed. Especially in the home straight of a season in which you have already contested 53 competitive matches. If, Mourinho style, you count the community shield, which Guardiola is now doing. And especially when you have gone full tilt at every competition, winning one domestic cup already and reaching the final of another. Next Wednesday, there is every chance Manchester City will take their lead of the Champions League. The bookmakers do not often get it wrong, asked the founder of one of the most familiar takers of footballing wagers, Bet365. At the last count, Denise Coates was worth the best part of pounds 5 billion. But for City to remain strongish favourites, to go through to the semi-finals might be a misstep. The ludicrous, antiquated away goals rule, now in Tottenham's favour, should make the outcome a 50-50 call. But if City go out, it would be no disaster. If Guardiola was offered the choice of guaranteed Premier League success or progression to the last four of the Champions League, he would take the former. And I suspect most City fans would do likewise. When Manchester United re-established themselves as a true powerhouse in the early 90s, they won four domestic league titles before the 1998-99 season, when a fifth was finally accompanied by Champions League triumph. If City edge out Liverpool in this magnificent title race, it will be their fourth in eight seasons. Establishing domestic dominance in such a competitive era, no team has defended a crown in a decade, has to be City's priority and would be a stellar achievement. There is no doubt City have a squad capable of winning the Champions League. Guardiola's team selection at Spurs has come under scrutiny, particularly his decision not to start Kevin De Bruyne. But the Belgian's long-term physical well-being has to come into Guardiola's thoughts, and if he was giving him a break ahead of Sunday's engagement at Crystal Palace, the city manager cannot be faulted. If winning this epic duel with Liverpool is consuming more of his thoughts than the Champions League, he cannot be faulted. To win that duel, City are probably going to have to win their remaining six league fixtures. And that would mean a final tally of 98 points. Back-to-back -back titles with a total of 198 points would be one of the most remarkable feats in the history of English club football.
it would mean 64 wins from 76 games and, almost certainly, over 200 goals scored in that stretch. It would be astonishing. There might come a time, either with Guardiola or someone else at the helm, when success in Europe for City becomes a burning necessity. But that time is not now.